So I recently bought a Nintendo Switch, reluctantly, and I actually like it a lot, but it's also made me mad. Well, mad at Microsoft. Today I'll tell you why I think they're blowing it in the handheld console market, because they don't have anything there. Stay tuned. Okay, I don't want to review the Nintendo Switch here. There are plenty of videos on the internet. I'll share some thoughts though, at least on a basic level. First of all, I go back very far with Nintendo. I, I'm like 41 almost. So I started off in 1987 like everybody else with the original Nintendo. I had the first Game Boy. And then I kind of grew out of it. I did have a Cube, I did have the Wii, but I never really enjoyed those. And I felt like Xbox just became sort of my default gaming system because there's just more adult stuff on there, which sounds kind of weird, but I like violence like a lot of people. And so I avoided the Switch for a long time, but some things have changed. Now, I want to talk about the hardware, first of all. It's 720p, it's got a plastic screen. The build quality is okay. It seems durable, but this isn't amazing hardware and the ergonomics on it aren't very good. I did put a case on it, which makes it feel better when now I can't really use it to connect it to TV. So this isn't amazing hardware. And for all the talk about it becomes a console because you connect it to your TV, well, all they mean is it has a USB type C port on the bottom, which is awesome. I, you can use it for charging, but it's display out. This isn't magic if you run a Windows PC and have a type C port, it's just that. So. What really sold me on it though, and why I really enjoy it, is not the Nintendo thing with Mario Kart and Mario Odyssey and Zelda. Those are fine, those are staples, you know that already. It's all the indie stuff that's coming on to this. So if you go on Steam a lot and you buy those 15 or $20 games or even the $10 ones, the real experimental weird ones that tend to be gems, a lot of people will like them, that's all on here now. And to me, that's kind of crazy because I never thought we would see a lot of Steam content on a Nintendo device. But then what really piqued my interest was Doom. Not the old, old Doom, which would be kind of cool, but the new Doom is on this. It runs, sure, it runs at 720p and 30 frames per second, but again, the experience, mobile, it's awesome, it's, it's here. And why I really like it is the fact that there's something nice about a handheld console, whether you're on the couch, you're in the back seat of a car, you're on a bus, you're just traveling, or you're out for the weekend, there's something more intimate about using a device like this where it's just closer to your face versus console gaming. And I kind of miss that. I've been using the Xbox One for a very long time now, and I have awesome TVs, 55 inch, 65 inch, humble brag here, 4K displays, all that kind of stuff. And it's a great experience for certain things, but I kind of miss just playing silly arcade games, and that's what this does. So you can probably see where this is all leading, which is Microsoft, who do not have anything like this. So I get there are challenges, we'll just leave it at that. And yet Microsoft, to me, is poised to really create a really unique device. Let's go down the list. First, they have the hardware team, the Surface Group. They are very good at creating hardware, and I know they can make a much better device than this. They could probably also do it without charging $1,000. They could, let's just say four or 500 bucks, would be kind of fair, I think. But give me a higher res display, better ergonomics, better quality design, I'm all for it. They have the IP, so we're talking about Xbox 360, Xbox One, the Halo franchise. Microsoft has been working very hard on backward compatibility, running old games on a new Xbox One. In fact, a lot of the press recently have been jumping on this going, hey, this has actually turned out to be way better than expected. Microsoft is serious about it. Yeah, well, could you imagine running the entire Halo franchise on this device? It could do that. Or what about going back to your Xbox 360 games and running a bunch of your favorites on there? And this brings me to nostalgia. I kind of hate nostalgia in the sense of being marketed towards me. I see a lot of people falling for it, whether it's Nokia re-releasing old phones now in 2018, or Nintendo themselves selling you a mini version of their old console for like 150 bucks just to run a few games that, you know, seem strange now in 2018. Yet people buy it all the time and people fall for it. And it's because we're at a stage now in technology where you can actually have memories of this stuff. Microsoft has a lot of nostalgia and legacy that they're just not leveraging. Like I said, could you imagine them putting, just making this a portable Xbox 360? In of itself, that would sell a ton, I think. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, but what about 4K gaming and 60 frames per second? Basically with the Xbox One X. 
And to me, that's fine. Keep the One X for that and keep that platform pushing that way. You don't need that though. The Switch is proving 720p and 60 frames per second is good enough for most people. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's not even tiny. Who's gonna carry this around in a pocket? You can't, right? So you need a case for it to protect it. Like, this is still selling a lot though. So I feel like Microsoft could honestly do a ton of work in this area and improve upon it. Sell it towards adults. I've often talked about Razer. A lot of people say, oh, Razer's so expensive. They sell literally a $4,500 laptop. Yet it sells well. Why? Because there are people like me who are old enough to remember playing games in the 80s and 90s who now are adults and want to spend that money. Well, Microsoft, you could do that too. Sell us back our old memories with your old platform. They also have, besides the hardware team to make this happen, they have the controller team who's been making Xbox controllers for years, so they got that figured out. They also have Azure and cloud computing on their side. They also have the Microsoft Store where they can sell Windows games, PC games, Xbox games. They have the whole infrastructure there. Like, I'm not sure why they're not doing this. Internally, Microsoft is kind of already agreeing that the console wars are over. And I know that's gonna be shocking to a lot of people who are still saying, oh my God, PS4, and they still have Gods of War and all the new games out there. And I get that, but that's not where the real competition is gonna be happening in the next five to 10 years, which is cloud computing, cloud gaming, game streaming, and all that. That's where Microsoft is now pivoting towards, and they're gonna beat Sony there because Sony does not have that infrastructure. Well. Add 4G to this, add 5G to this, allow me to do streaming to this. I mean, there are just so many opportunities here. You guys can give me better examples, probably in comments, of where Microsoft could actually make this happen and make this a success. As far as what it should run, well, Microsoft could figure this out. I'm not here to answer all their questions, but we know about Windows Core OS, which is a very basic version of Windows, has a lot of stuff stripped out of it. Put that on there, maybe with an Xbox UI, they can do that with Seashell and use that Windows Store. It allow me to put apps on it. If I could just run UWP apps on this, like Sling, Hulu, and Netflix, well, that's something right now that the Nintendo Switch can't do either. You can also make it very social. That's the cool thing about this technology. People take it around with them. They want to use it locally to play games. Like, matchmaking is a big deal. You have that infrastructure to make that happen. I don't know where Microsoft is on this. I have not heard any rumors about a handheld coming. I've heard internally they're not keen on the idea. I'm sure there are a lot of economic reasons why they said, oh, this is probably a bad idea, but I think Nintendo has really proved with the Switch, which a lot of people wrote off is going to be a failure. It is now a huge hit. I think that's proven the fact that this can work. Microsoft is there. They have all the infrastructure to make it happen, and they're not doing it. Come on, guys. Let's get it together. So there's my rant on why Microsoft should make a handheld console. Am I wrong? Did I leave anything out? Tell me what you think in comments below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.